What's good, people? Uncle Hotel back at it again. How y'all doing? Holiday season upon us. Turkey Day is now over. <laughs> I wanted to talk about Turkey Day for a minute. Me? I ain't cook a goddamn thing, man. <laughs> now, I usually do most of the cooking. Uh, I guess she rather does, I mean, the big cooking. You know what I mean? The, the event cooking she likes to do. She likes to cook, like, cakes and stuff. Pies, cupcakes. But on the big events like Thanksgiving, Easter, Christmas... She likes to cook. So, hey, man, go knock yourself out. Go ahead and do your thing. So I was laying around on the on the on the internet's, pestering my daughter, her pestering me. It's a two-way street. You gotta annoy them just as much as they annoy you. It's, it's only fair. You know, and people, you know, I think Royce the Five Nine rapper from Detroit. You know, uh, put out a, a tweet. And, you know, it said uh, he doesn't care about. Look, he says, look, we know about all the horrible things that happen on Thanksgiving, but I'm not trying. I'm not. This is not what I'm. <laughs> I'm not celebrating none of that. I'm just here to eat, <laughs> and everybody co-signed it. And this, that, and the third. And you know, that's probably true. A larger extent for African Americans, the Akatas, the Shines. But I, I mean, I, I came, I come to my realization, man. The blacks aren't absolved from to, for what happens to the Indians in this country. You know, I can't remember what the cavalry numbers are. Seventh and ninth cavalry. You know, it was Indian Wars, man. The blacks was in there. The Buffalo soldiers was in there giving them work. Giving the Indians work in their own native land. He was fighting for the white man killing the Indians. Black folks. So I'm like, why? Where, is it, where does it come off that y'all uh, is absolved of, of the slaughtering of Native Americans? Y'all's hands, is, this is bloody and filthy. Does anybody else? And you know, I feel them. But you know, the, in, the Native Americans, they, they, I feel them. I feel them. I feel them. But you have to understand, the victors go to spoils. Other countries have been conquered. This is, uh, you know, this is part of the human race. This is nothing, no different than, like, say you have a pack of lions, right? And I think there's, like, isn't there, like, one alpha male in, in the group? Right, and they they run off all the other males. Let's just say uh, uh, another alpha male. He comes up. He's like, man, that alpha male is slipping. He young. He he buck. He young and buck. The older male. He's he's getting long in the tooth. Getting raggedy in the tooth. He comes along and, 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 and whoops at the old lion's ass, and he takes his own. He takes his pride. It's his pride now. It's his block. It's his, it's his wherever you know. I mean, they 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 roam the uh, the Sahara. It's his part of the Sahara now. That's no different than what the white man did to the Indians. We did to the Indians. We was part of it too. So I mean, you can't look. I mean, I hate how they trying to look at uh, through the lenses of history and uh, try to change things or have a different outlook on things you know and it's hey man it's it's human history to conquer and war with each other uh, I think we should be thankful for that uh, we haven't had major conflicts in a while I mean Syria notwithstanding you know what I mean I think we're uh, I think we're moving towards that now some might say World War 3 is around the corner and you know, Albert Pike said that World War III will destroy this, that, and the third. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Maybe it's metaphorically. Maybe the World War III won't be a war fought with guns and bullets. But that's 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 that's, 
that's a different topic for a different video. You know, so we ate. I ate Thanksgiving. It was good. Went home, brought my mom. Went to my mom's house, brought her a plate. I ain't cooking. You know I mean, so we'll see how she gets it. So it was good to me. You know, my uncle. My uncle is uh, sick. It looks like he's got to his uh, leg amputated below the knee. He's been having some foot problems. Circulation. It looks like they're going to have to cut it off, man. So, kind of upset about that. You know, I mean, I wish him well. Hope he gets, hope it works out for him, man. It's, uh, I have to go to rehab, and I didn't know you had to. You have to wait a pro year for, for even to get a prosthetic, man. I'm like, damn, I didn't even know that, man. So he's gonna, he's got a long road of rehab and stuff ahead of him, man. So, man, shouts out to my uncle. No. Oh, I went to, I went to, uh, after that, we dropped the kid off at my mom's, and I brought her the plate, We went, uh, went out there with them fools, Black, uh, Black Friday, I know about Black Friday, uh, what, what do they call it? It's Black Friday shopping was Thursday, what do they call it? I don't know. Went to Walmart and Target. Target wasn't that bad. Target was not that bad. Walmart? <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Them people are vicious out there. People running in your back with carts and you know what I mean? Uh, there was, yo, I'm telling you what, man. First of all, hit the Walmart, right? It was like quarter of six. And uh, Walmart opened at five. I'm like, all right, I'll get there at five for it. It would die down a little bit. But then the sales started till six. So they would had they had like some of the employees were being like cart Nazis. Like I pick some pick some underwear up, kid underwear up. She told me to put her back till six o'clock. I'm like, what? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? So they had to deal with them shines, and then. Uh, you know, six o'clock come, people just just went wild, man. It was just going crazy. You know, what I mean, TVs, people getting uh, what was they getting? Fitbits. You know what I mean? I copped the air fryer, man. <laughs> like they had like a, it was like forty dollars, forty nine dollars, forty dollar air fryer. Start air frying stuff, man. Got to look healthy, man. Got to get it done. I mean, I only picked up a couple items. I just wanted to go, man, just to see the the, the, the fuckery. But, man, these people, man, the Indian cats was in there deep, man. They love a good deal, man. They do not mess around. When they got a deal on the table, man, they going to be in there deep. Deep! It's craziness. Now I got to look for a Christmas tree. I don't know if we get it today or tomorrow. Do y'all usually put up Christmas trees right after Thanksgiving? I don't know. I don't even remember the last time we did last year. I get a live tree. I remember the days of artificial Christmas trees. Just bag it up, put it in, put it in the closet, bring it out next year. Nah, we gotta get, we gotta get, we gotta get the real trees, little jade. <laughs> Oh my gosh, then we got two cats now. We had one cat last year, now we got two cats. I wonder if this other savage is gonna mess with the Christmas tree. I don't know. Yeah, man, I was just, Thanksgiving was, you know, man. I don't know, I didn't watch any football. I don't think I watched one minute of football. Not one. I seen a little highlight. Cowboys. That's about it. I didn't watch anything. You know what I mean? I like I said, I haven't watched too much football this year. Denver's been sorry. Y'all supposed to be boycotting football anyway. Couldn't deal with it. Couldn't deal. Plus, the Eagles are good, man. I don't want <laughs> I'm going to be sick, man. Eagles win a Super Bowl. I'll be sick, man. I'm a little, oh, my gosh. I couldn't. I'm not even, I'm not even ready for it. They do remind me of this, like, uh, the 
Carolina season a couple years ago. They went 15 and one. They looked pretty much unstoppable. Went to saw my Broncos. They beat beat the beat the tar out of defensive struggle. I don't think any of the AFC got a defensive uh, like squad like that. I still think a team can put up points on them. They just gotta. You keep your quarterback clean. I think a, a, a QB can pick them apart. But we'll see. Anyway, I just want to get a little ramble on about Thanksgiving at Uncle Hotep's house. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.